Hey guys, I'm Xinhua News reporter Yuan Yuanming. Today I'm in Zhengzhou City, central China's Henan province, to bring you this report. Just behind me is the new launched Zhengzhou Autopilot bus line. The trail operations was begun on June 20th, and up to now, it has attracted so many attention. So today, let's go and explore what's the differences between this new autopilot buses and the traditional ones, and to see how many black technologies are applied on it. <laughs> In order to know more details about the RoboBus, we invite Mr. Zhang Liqe, the engineer of Zhengzhou Yutong Bus Company Limited, to introduce more functions of it. Hello, Mr. Zhang. Hey, 你好。我们这个云控平台呢，有健康自检、自主泊车等七大功能。自主泊车呢，是车辆会自动的实现一个泊车入位的这样一个功能。然后自动充电呢，是车辆一旦发现它的车电池不足之后。车辆会自动从泊车位发车到充电位，这样能提高一下场站内的一个作业的效率。Besides the auto parking and auto charging, the staff also told me that through this intelligent control system, we can achieve the function of intelligent call. Just one click, the mini robot bus will come here and pick you up. The staff told me that this equipment, though it seems like a video game station, but it you can really achieve to remote control buses like in Guangzhou city through it. After seeing the cloud control center, let's go on the bus and have a seat. I'm wearing my mask now. The decoration is quite beautiful, and the space is quite large. Compared to the traditional ones, within all the equipment, this digital screen attracted me most. I can see on the screen there are the speed of the bus. When the bus is、uh, come over to the crossroads, it can automatically connect with the with the light so that it can shorten the time you passing the crossroad. Using this technology, the intelligent bus is not only smart but also efficient. So it's really convenient for the citizens here. As a 5G intelligent bus with autopilot functions. I thought that there is no need to have a to have a driver, but I can see in the driving cabin there is a staff here. So why? Let's invite the engineer, Mr. Qin Zhaodong, to explain to us. 目前按照相关的规定和公交运营的管理规定，呃，需要配备驾驶员。那么它的作用呢，主要就是驾驶安全员，就是当车辆在运营过程中遇到。突发的这个紧急情况，包括就是系统向司机发出请求接管的命令时，那么这个驾驶员可以随时接管车辆，保证车辆行驶的更安全。After trying to take the 5G intelligent bus for a while, I believe you have noticed how convenient the daily life could be when we use these 5G technologies. So, what other fields we can apply this 5G technology? Please continue to pay attention to our video reporting. So, I'm Xinhua News reporter, and see you next time. <laughs>